Welcome back to BJIC here at Blacktown International Sports Park. Day three of the tournament. It's been an outstanding tournament. Adam Collins with you in commentary, joined once again by Jamie Barrington. JB, day three, mate. It's been a great tournament so far. What are we looking forward to here? Yeah, looking forward to seeing this young Steelers team play. I haven't seen them yet at all over the weekend. This is their, their first time on Diamond 1. We've seen Canberra. So uh, looking forward to it. Let's get this first pitch underway. Goes through for a ball. Lead-off batter for the ACT, number 104, Ellie Anderson. Yeah, Ellie Anderson there. She's a... That one steps away high, on that one. A high strike call. As you said, yeah. she backed right out of the box. Didn't want a, any piece of that action. Yeah, I thought she thought it was a bit too high. She thought I'd just... He's Good back. speed. Again, stepping back. Yeah. Well, you're never going to hit a ball doing that, unfortunately. Absolutely. So, uh, you miss 100% of the swings you don't take. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Ellie here swings at a high one, and that's a third strike, an opening K2 for the pitcher. Chantel Wooden. Yeah, Caitlin Ferns coming up. Next up the bat for the ACT, number 68, Caitlin Ferns. Yeah, Caitlin Fern, she's the one, she's a good batter. She stands at the back of the box here. She'll come forward and try and slap a ball into one of the gaps here. The corner's just slightly down the line, not too far, but they'll come in now that they saw Caitlin attempt that last play. She does it once again, a strike call. Yeah, I think that ball was well and truly too low on outside, so I probably would have let that one go. She put two strikes on herself now. Just missing on the outside, that one. Didn't miss by much. No, uh, didn't. Caitlin's one of their most experienced players here in this ACT team. She's top age. Oh, swings at a off-speed pitch. Yeah, swings, and that was outside too. Next up, the bat for the ACT, number 98, Bronte Norton. Bronte, the pitcher. Yeah, Bronte's the ACT good player pride. too. She drove one up the centre in one of the previous games. And, and there she, she goes. Again. Over the head that, of the left fielder. Back to the fence. Hit. That'll be a triple all day here for Bronte. Yeah, she just looked up, saw the coach give the signal. Oh, yes. Oh, oh she, she had an opportunity. She absolutely yeah. had an opportunity there. Hesitated. Yeah, if she didn't hesitate, she would have easily scored an infield home run. That come right off the, the meat of the bat, right to the back fence, right out of the centre of the barrel. It was a great piece. You better number 34, Ava Medlicott. Yeah, Ava Medlicott here playing third. Ooh, that ball gets away, ooh. but comes off the net very quickly. Back Unlucky to the catcher. there for uh, Norton. I think, yeah, you know, sometimes it hits that back net and holds back there for the catcher, but that one comes straight to the catcher. She would have been hosed if she'd tried to get home, so smart play remaining at three. It's a strike. Swings at a high one there. Nice pitch. She's jumping around in the box. She's keen to get a piece of this one. Yeah, she's keen. She's very nervous. That swing was a little bit late on that last one. That one let go. So good at bat here. Two and two. A runner on third base. They have the two out, so they really need to score this run here early if they can. That's oh, a strike. called strike. That's a... Ava just let that one go and... It's called a coach right killer, there. that one. <laughs> Absolutely. So, unfortunately for the ACT Pride, the hit of Bronte Norton goes to waste as she was stranded on third. But nice pitching from uh, Chantel. Oh, she's Chantel. Good. Yeah, no, she's a good pitcher. Chantel, it's definitely Chantel. Uh, she's a good pitcher. Um... She did 
did the job there. But that was a wonderful piece there by Norton. Really crunched that one deep, deep to uh, left field fence. It was a nice piece. The, the left fielder had come in a little bit shallow and she just watched it sail over. You could see mm -hmm. the look on her face. As she came in, thought she might have had a piece of it and then realised that it was a beautifully struck ball. Norton will come up here to uh, pitch now for the ACT. She's got a varied range in pitching Norton. She can uh, really fire them in. And then she can... Uh, have plenty of off-speed pitches. Look forward to seeing what she can bring here. And uh, a bit of a shout-out too for our young umpire, Rory Taylor. I can see down there, a man behind the dish. Yeah. He uh, was playing in this tournament last year and now here umpiring it. Well, he's about twice the size of all of them now. He's nice and tall, Rory. He has shot up in the last 12 months or so. Plays first base for me. And uh, in my club. He's a very good player, Rory Taylor. We had the uh, pleasure of coaching Rory up on the Central Coast too. He came up to play some winter ball with us the last couple of seasons. I think he um, he's uh, he's in a I think he's in a Waratah league actually with my uh, my two boys uh, coming up. He's been quite a good catcher too. But Rory. The, yeah, he was. Yeah. Well, I'll tell this you this now, he is one of the best first bases going around. I think the size might have done something about the uh, he stretches change phenomenal. of position. Yeah, he stretches phenomenal, which really emphasises everything for him. Lead-off batter for the New South Wales Steelers, number two, Mia Kassa. Yeah, Mia Kassa now. He watches that first one go through. Ball. <laughs> Bit of a hiccup here in the uh, commentary position. Was it me, Adam? I'm not pointing fingers. <laughs> As Mia gets set to face off once again, Ooh. Bronny... A little bit of that off-speed work there you were talking about, JB. Yeah, well, she tried to go. She went well inside. You can see Mia is right feet close to the front line. Two balls, one strike. So an inside pitch is not a bad option. It's only two strikes. Mia thought she was sent back to the dugout there with that called strike. However, it's two and two. Yeah. Mia... That one in, in the dirt just gets away from the catcher. Yeah, she'll get a full count now here, Mia. Bronny just working on finding that range, trying to hit the spots. Just low ball. That must, must be full count now. Now it's full count. No, no, uh, yeah. it was full count, so that is a walk. It's she definitely uh, wasn't aware of her. It's actually, it's interesting the number of players at this tournament that aren't aware of their pitch counts. Well, one, she thought she was out for... <laughs> on on, on, on strike a second two, strike. And then three, she was waiting to uh, hit again. Ball four. Sierra Ryan now up. The one gets away and the runner will steal. Mia makes her way to second. New batter for the Steelers, number 10, Sierra Ryan. Now you saw that run there. They stole from one to two on the first pitch. And one gets away, another steal here, and that extra base for Kassa. Now we'll go yeah. home. Just a yeah. throw, gets away from the infield. The cover, the shortstop had come around in cover, and unfortunately... When it kicked off the base, it got past her as well. That's That was the thing that killed uh, ACT against Japan the other day. Jeez, those pass balls and simple, I guess, simple errors. If they can eliminate those, they could go on and do good things here. 
a lot of these players I found out this morning are very young. So they're all eligible to play except for, I think, two players next year. Oh, that's great. Be good to see them back. They're certainly certainly bringing something to the tournament and enjoying the uh, opportunity, I'm sure. Ryan gets herself a walk. Next batter for the Steelers, uniform number six, Ruby Gun. Gun. What is Ruby Gun? Sorry. Put me line too long on the G. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was Quinn. No, no that's no. good. It's Ruby Gun and uh, Sierra Ryan. Extra base. They just takes off straight away on the pitch. The pitch wasn't it wasn't a pass ball. Ryan just took off early. As soon as the pitcher let go. There's a big swing from Ruby. And there's one of those pitches again from Norton. Just got to be more consistent with it. If she can get some consistency, she's going to pitch a lot more K2s. Ooh. That one gets away from the catcher. It's away from the catcher and gets Rory Taylor in the right in the uh, face. He'll check his mask. Yeah. So Ruby set the face off once again. Two balls, one strike here. Another ball. Three one count now. Checks Ooh, at that one, but a strike. Call strike. Yeah, a good call from Taylor. That she, was definitely a strike. Caught she, that inside corner. Ruby definitely thought about it, but she held her hands back, and she should have taken that chance. That one gets away. Back, it comes off the net. Play yeah, at the plate. Ryan, definitely out In there. In time. That was a great play. Now, Gunn gets herself a walk on that one. But the good news for ACT, they get themselves an out. You better stepping up for the Steelers. Number four, Ella Fretton. So, Ella Fretton, the power hitter in the lineup, JB. Tell us a little bit about Ella. Yeah. You see her pop that one up. Shortstop gets across. Although she didn't take the catch there. Yeah, the shortstop still made the out. Good enough to recover the uh, the ball and have the foot on second base for the forced out. Yeah, look, Ella's a great play. Great catcher. Strong catcher. And uh, as we wait, I'll wait here as Katie Newman comes into the batter's box. Right fielder there, Katie Newman. Pops that one into right field. Safe hit. There, runner scores. Ella Fretton, look at that. Runner will score. Heads up, base running. That's what I mean. That's the sort of player she is. So she's gone from one to two and stole straight to three. And then as soon as there was one little hiccup, stole home. Aggressive running. Gets herself a run for the Steelers team. Got Claire Hangen coming up. Number seven in the box, Claire Hangen. That one gets away again. These extra bases now are just starting to pile up, as you said, JB, those little percentage plays. Newman are super quick, so... <laughs> She is going to take every base given to her. So they've got to be careful. First, first pitch hit to right field. And now stolen on the next two pitches all the way to third base. And a big swing there for Hangen. Yep, no luck. Oh, 
Off speed pitch gets away from the catcher. Steals home. And Newman. Little, little high five. Newman adds, and the batter. Adds a run to the scoreboard. Three runs now for the New South Wales Steelers. Two out. And a three and one count here for Claire Hangan. Pops that one up. Hits the back net. Hits the back net. Once again, the sad thing for ACT is those pass balls have killed them. That's, those three runs have nearly come in because of those pass balls. I mean, there has been a hit. So definitely would have scored some runners if they were on base. Great learning. As you said, that the lower age group. So they'll get the experience this year and come back bigger and better next year. As we see... The number two, that's... Uh, Cesar coming back out. You better for the Steelers. Number 12, Renee Torres. Mia Cesar has gone out to run for the catcher. Yeah, hanging the catcher with the two out. There's another stolen base. And that's unlucky for the catcher. You can't, that one there, when it hits the front of the plate and bounces up like that, it's just... It can kick anywhere. It's too hard for any catcher to get those. That one punched down the first baseline. Good contact, just sliding foul. And look at it run. Really impressive pitch, that one. There's a lot of pace on that one. Bronte Norton wound that one right up. It was a great pitch. So one on one the count here for Torres. Another good pitch from Norton. Oh, unlucky for the catcher. It was right at her feet. Right at her feet. She wasn't quite sure where it was. And the Those masks don't do you any favours. It's hard to find, find a ball down there. Yeah, underneath the protection you've got on and you're just not sure. You can't really feel it hit your feet. That one driven. Back towards the ACT bench. A few of the girls getting out of the way thinking... This ball's coming straight at me. It's funny watching your action sometimes when the ball hits the net. They forget the net's there. I'm always glad the net's there. Absolutely. Oh, that's a good pitch. Oh, unlucky not to get that call. Yeah, Torres takes a big deep breath. Probably thinks, as you said, I'm lucky to get out of that one. Full count now, three and two here for Torres. Swings at a high ball. Goes foul. Stays battling this one. That's what you want. It's good at bat here. Runner on third. Two out. Torres with the full count. And it's itself a base on balls. It was a nice pitch. A great looking pitch. Tough call. You better uniform number five, Maddie Gauchi. So Gauchi here gets a first look at Norton. Gets some contact, drives it straight into the ground. It just trickles into foul territory. So the runners. Head back to the corners. Torres was off on first base, but sent back. Oh, that's, that's a, a nice piece. line drive down. The, the first base line gets away from the right fielder. It'll go all the way back to the fence. This is an infield home run. Gauchi will get the home run. She will get it comfortably. The ball still in the outfield. But the run won't count. The fifth run yeah. across the plate just in front of her. But yeah. we will give her all of the credit. That was a beautiful line drive into right field. 
and just got underneath the glove of the right field of the wet, slippery conditions out there. Would have been a tough one to sight. And yeah, that one. Once it went under that glove, it was shut the gates. Yeah, it's all the way Gauchy back to the Gauchy was fence. flying around the bases, and that ball travelled a good 20 metres back to the fence. For the poor right fielder had to sprint all the way out there and grab that ball. And, uh, yeah. And just some words from uh, of encouragement from the coach there, just talking about the way the ball's going to skid out there in the outfield. It is quite wet. We had a little bit of rain here this morning, so the grass is quite wet. Yeah, it certainly is. So it's not bouncing. It's just hitting it and skidding pretty quick. So, you know, that, that young girl, <laughs> she's not going to be the first one to do that today. I'll tell you out here. So another opportunity now for the ACT Pride. The uh, the Pride, oh, they were just so close in to shutting that innings down twice. Um, so plenty of positives there for that this young ACT team. A lot of these young girls out here are top age in this um, Steelers outfit. Lead off batter for the ACT Pride, number 34. Oh, sorry, number 22, Ava Pretty John. Saw the two two Avers on our run sheet, one after the other. Yep. Got myself a little confused Ava there. Medlecott, Ava Pretty, Pretty John. She lets that first one go through for a ball. Oh, there's a good lash at that. I like that. Yeah, we talked about it yesterday, that intent, the demonstration of intent. You swing, and that's, you know, from the coach's perspective, that's what you want to see the kids doing, getting out there and trying to get some connection you rather than watch to, the ball go by and give it a nod. As you say, you want them to look for a hit, not look for a walk. So two balls, one strike. I think these, when we've been watching the Japanese Princess... And the Japanese dream teams, the uh, young ladies there, they certainly have the mentality to hit everything. Three and one here for Preda John. A nice pitch from Chantel Wooden. Yeah, Chantel actually had a fairly extended length of time off from pitching from the uh, That's a nice regional. Pitch. Little, just a slight change of speed there, and he really hit the mark. Yeah, she did. A beautiful pitch. Yeah, she got a bad injury down at regionals. Number 29, Olivia Mendoza steps up for the ACT Pride. So I'm not sure if it was a broken hand or it was certainly... Some damage, but she was out for an extended period, and she's back, and she's firing on all cylinders. Certainly is, bringing it here today. So Mendoza goes ahead in the count, two balls. Mendoza, the first base for the ACT Pride. First opportunity to face off against the Steelers here. Good pitch. Certainly was a little shake of the head from Mendoza. Why didn't I go at that one, she mm, says. And then a big, deep, couple of deep breaths. She readies herself now. It's another strike. Yeah. These are the ones you really want your batters to throw their hands aggressive. at. Be aggressive. Get at it. Two and two. It's a great pitching here from Wooden. She was down... Two balls in the count. That one low in the dirt. So full count now. So 
So will we see Wooden go back with that rise ball? She did, but it was just a little bit too high. Yep, and she gets herself a walk. Mendoza makes her way to first. Sophie Mitchell. New batter for the ACT Pride. Number 11, Sophie Mitchell. Mitchell will come up. There's going to be a change here. I just uh, Ella Fretton has just come running into the dugout. She was out at left field. She's come in and out there at left field. Thinking it was number eleven that just went out there. Sasha, Shyam Sadar. Yeah, Shyam Sadar. I think that's who it is that's gone out there. So number eleven in the box and a change for the number eleven from the Steelers lineup. Strike called, runner stays at first. Wooden there, all that she did was just put that right on the spot. Didn't try and overpower the pitch. Another strike called, two Same strikes again. here for Mitchell. Yeah, I think she's gone into the old spots is the way to go here. Leave the speed, the speed will naturally come. A nice pitch as well. Just a little low for Taylor. But as you said, just working the spots changed the location of that pitch. Young Mitchell didn't want a piece of that one high. Yeah. Mendoza takes off to second base. Good on her. That was a nice. As soon as that ball got away from the catcher, Mendoza was on the bike. She took off. Stole the base. Great work. So two and two here for young Sophie Mitchell. Swings at that one. It was a nice swing. Just a the touch late, and that's three. third strike. Mitchell goes back to the dugout. Number 44 for the ACT Pride, Ella Wilkinson. Yeah, Wilkinson. Look at her. She looks keen, lively in the box. Ready to fire. Normal steps back. That one inside. Yeah, low inside. She didn't want a bar of it. But as you said, just having a look at her stance, she seems more ready to hit. That one again. She's not hugging the line at all, right? So when she moves back like that is because the pitch is well inside. Inside. And it means it is going to be called ball. She's not stepping away here. Has a swing at that one. Nice pitch from Wooden as well. That one was in the zone, so she had a good crack. Didn't make contact, but it was a good swing. Oh, nice Contact work. there. Yep, fouls that one off. In the top of the zone as well. She got her hands to it nicely. Just able to get that connection and foul it off. Stay in the count. Two and two. That's it. All you want to do is try and win the battle. Again, oh. throws her hands at a high one. Fouls it away. She could have... Uh, <laughs> she didn't do that. She could have got herself a ball three. But, you know, she's she's battling. She's just thinking, anything close, I've got to foul off. But again, that, that intent to hit. I love to see it in the kids. There's oh. a high one. She lets that one go. It was right yeah, at the top of the strike yeah, zone. Yeah, I think it was a bit high. Rory's certainly liking the higher balls today. And that's the third out. Yeah, so lucky. the ACT Pride make their way back to the dugout with another runner left on base. Yeah, it's unfortunate there for ACT. I just... Uh... 
probably, you know, if she'd let that last one go and uh, that, the one before, sorry, she fouled off would have been ball three and and I, and I think that one there was ball four as well. Probably would have had two on base. So, anyhow, not to be. Umpires sort of calling those higher ones in this game. So, the players have got to adjust and be aware of it. And, and that's the thing, though. The players really do need to to see how the umpires are calling those strikes and they've got to protect themselves. And yeah. if, the, if the consistent calling of those high pitches is there, that's exactly what you want and you can and, adjust. And he's exactly doing that. He's consistent on both sides. So as a good, as a coach, you should be saying Talking to the players to, yeah. now, anything that's, say, in this zone that you might consider leaving... I don't want you to leave. You must hit the ball. Absolutely. And that's and that's giving them the guidance you need for those players going out there to bat. So, yeah, doing all right. Good game on our hands here. The Steelers get another opportunity to add to their total. They currently have that five runs on the board, and it is five runs across the plate. Sees the end of the inning. Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, unfortunately, the, even though there was a home run um, in the last at-bat... Yeah, we're going to give her the credit. We will. And she, she did hit a home run, but that sixth run doesn't count. It stays at five. Lead-off batter for the Steelers. Pitcher number 13, Chantel Wooden. Yeah. Ducks away from one there, Chantel. Bit of the matrix action. Yeah, I'll tell you the other thing about Chantel is she won't be afraid to swing the bat either, this one. She uh, she certainly is a hitter. And she will look at any ball in her zone to get bat to it. She, as you call that, she punches at one and knocks it foul down yep. the first baseline. Coached against Chantel for a few years now and... She's always a dangerous batter. Um, Who's in front there? Uh, I would say Chantel. She's <laughs> always in front, to be honest. She always seems to hit the ball. She hits that oh, one, pops that's... it up for the catcher, Nor uh, sorry, the pitcher. Norton. Norton tucks herself underneath it beautifully. I wish she'd do that in club games. She normally hits a back fence. Back to the top of the lineup. Back to the top of the lineup here for the Steelers. Number two, Mia Kassar. Yeah, Mia Kassar. Based on balls, first time around. Yep. She and was really patient. Was the first run scored? She has one ball here. And again, good intent to want to hit. He's got the bat around, but uh, unfortunately hit it down the first baseline for a foul. Yeah. Again, I'm hoping that the um, the umpire, oh, the umpire, the coach has given them the old just let's go. Anything close we want to hit. Uh, let's that one go. Just a little wide. Two balls, one strike here for Kassa. Yeah. Oh, good swing. Didn't miss by much. Certainly, connection would have been what she was looking for there. It was a beautiful swing. There's oh, a strike. She a strike. takes a chance to look at one, and that was a beautiful pitch from Norton. It was. Time blue. Looks like a change of catcher. A change. And there's changes are plenty. So we've got uh, the shortstop going to first base. The first base coming off. Sabine Lang. Is it 
going to centre field. And Danica Hartch going into the catching role. Yeah, that certainly is the 18 of Danica Hartch. Caitlin Ferns has gone from short to first base. Well, I think we're waiting on a shortstop to arrive. And number 22 here she comes. makes her way out. That's over Predator John. Yeah, Predator John. She's gone from the catching role into shortstop. We saw that change made yesterday as well. So Predator John with the dual role. I think yesterday she took herself off. If yeah, I she did. Rightly. <laughs> you do remember rightly. She did. She took herself off. It was just. I think um, it was the shake of the hand a fair bit. She copped the couple right on that, on the thumb or the pinky, and she uh, she certainly gave the coach the nod to to give that hand a rest. Number 10 steps up for the Steelers, Sierra Ryan. Yes, yeah, Sierra Ryan is back. Swings oh, at a oh. high ball. Wow. It's almost a propeller swing. Yeah, she didn't need to be going at that one. That was a ball all day. The coach will be just reminding her of the zone. <laughs> Again, well, swipes it a high pitch that was. Yeah. Get some more instructions. See what happens here. Two out for the Steelers. It's been a great inning for the ACT Pride. Norton throwing beautifully as we see that one going to the dirt. But uh, pitching a great inning here, young Norton. Yeah, she certainly has. She's got the K2 and a pop flyer. She took the first out. All about Bronte at the moment. Let's see what she does here. It's a nice pitch. Just doesn't Just quite hit the spot. Yeah, there's a bit on the outside. Couldn't get that one. So Ryan, two and two the count. Oh, that's a good pitch. Just outside again. It was a nice pitch though. And Ryan, after throwing the first, swiping at the first two up high. That one gets away from the catcher, and Ryan makes her way to first base. So yeah. she gets away with that one. Number six, Ruby Gunn. Gunn steps up with the runner on first base here. This is where it. Nice catch. And the throw oh. over to two, but nobody there. No, no, no. And these are the plays that count as we see. She's going to go yeah. home here. Yep. Sarah Ryan. Just on an error that didn't really need to be made. The both, both the second base and the shortstop are both stared at the catcher. as She threw it straight to second base for the tag. And neither of them got it, and the center field had to get the ball. By that stage, Ryan had already gone from first to third and then got herself home. So, yeah, just those positional changes that happened then. Unfortunately, the girls that went out into those roles just maybe didn't quite understand yeah. their job. Just a little bit of lack of communication there too. There's not a lot of movement between either of them at the moment. Either most pivots are normally bouncing, bouncing around, around and, and, and yeah. walking all over the shop. But these girls are quite stationary. So, I have to say, just looking out there, and we talked about it yesterday, the body language, how important it is, that, that intensity or the intent. And as you said, these ACT girls, the whole infield seems to be just static. They go down into a fielding position as the pitcher sets, but there's no real movement. They're on their heels. Some do. <laughs> some don't. Uh, yeah, they're not on their heels. They're not bouncing around. I think you know, some of these might be playing this for the first time, um, these positions, so they mightn't be um, 
used to that that role yeah that they have I mean, Caitlin Ferns was definitely moving around a lot more when she was at shortstop so there's another base on balls yeah it's the number 11 number 11 Sasha Shyam Sundar Big cry there. Not sure where that came from. It was uh, Ferns at first base, yelling out... Bunt. Uh, the bunt. She's just... Her second base needs to be... Yeah, the second base this time breaks. The shortstop breaks. They all moved into their right positional areas there, so that's much better there from the ACT. Second broke to one and short broke to three and one and three went down for the bunt three balls here for yeah. Shyam Sundar I'm not sure if um, the screaming out of Ferns just that time actually scared, scared. The, <laughs> the pitcher she's charging down that first baseline really getting in the head of the batter The runner comes home again on that pass ball. Extra bases are really killing the pride. Yeah. Pitch certainly didn't get into the zone, though. Tough for the catcher to grab that one. New batter for the Steelers. Number nine, Katie Newman. Yeah, Katie Newman, last time she got on base, she hit that line drive... Uh, to right field, got straight on base and then sprinted on every pitch. Stole the bases. We see there Shyam Sundar take off to second on the pitch. Yeah. Newman, that one called on the inside. Punches hard again. at that. Foul ball down the first baseline. Mum Nelly takes a one-handed. Yeah, attempted catch, catch in the in the grandstand. Yeah, she's trying to take a photo. And then the and then points catch. points out to the field, please. Yeah, she's taking a photo on the phone. <laughs> she's got it all happening. Video here, maybe on the phone. Yeah. Oh, she's, she's had a little, a little swing at that. A one. little half swing, and you see there, she wasn't happy about it either. <laughs> she. <clears throat> Chastises herself. Oh, and it was a third out, a third strike. It's that not was, knowing the count. She was unaware. And it's also the third out. So that is the end of the Steelers' innings. Only scoring two runs. So a good dig there for the ACT Pride. They, yeah. they got away with it early, a couple of early outs, and then unfortunately... Just some errors and pass balls that allowed those extra couple of runs to score. But that that at bat there for young Newman was a perfect example of not knowing your pitch count. <laughs> yeah, well, certainly not. And the damage that it can do. It. Um, it and the umpire just, just Taylor he called the third strike and then yep. nothing doing until at, the players at, make at, a selection. And to be fair. Neither did the, the fielding team know that. Correct. It either, because until someone actually alerted, the because the, the catcher had picked up the ball and, and thrown, thrown it back, back to, to the, the pitcher, pitcher yeah. instead of throwing it to one, they were unaware that it was the third strike. So the pitcher had to just roll over and throw it the first and got the out. It's not often you put in the playbook a, a drop K2 and then the out was made 1-3. to three. Yeah. <laughs> what is that?
Lead off batter for the ACT Prime, number 26, Lacey Dedurak. So, let's see what Lacey, Lacey can do. She's got Chantel still in the pitcher's circle. The coach just asking Lacey to move in a little bit closer to the, to the plate. Another one of these younger players by the look of Lacey. Yeah, she doesn't look like she wants to really get after too much from the first couple, but... Takes two balls. But she takes two balls. That is a strike. The coach just giving us some support, some encouragement to have a, have a crack. Yeah, don't be afraid to swing the bat at it. That one gets ball three. I'm happy when she's not swinging at balls that are bouncing in front of the plate. So she's been very patient. And takes ball a four. high ball and gets uh, the walk. So a runner on early here for the ACT Pride. And probably their batters, as you say, now coming up in Anderson, Ferns and Norton. So to get a runner on, nice work. You batter for the ACT Pride, number 104, Ellie Anderson. Anderson if I struck was Anderson, out. I would be just asking you to put down the bunt. As a late swing, a little half swing at that one. For two strikes here for Anderson. As I said, she struck out the first time round. This is her second at bat. Let's see what she can do now. Gets contact there. Not convinced about that swing. The runner has to go back. At least she's moving the bat. Let's see what she can do here. Anderson. Two strikes. Nice. Gets contact. Punches yes. it back to Wooden with a fielder's choice out at one. But she's moved the runner to two, and that's would have been the main role there. So what an outstanding effort there. So she's moved the runner from one to two, and only the one out for ACT. You better number 68, Caitlin Ferns. Yeah, Caitlin now. She'll look to run and slap this ball. Oh, no. Really? She's attempted it. Often, but hasn't had any luck. So do we stay in the well or do we ask it a better way? Runner holds it too. I think I think the really important thing if you're going to run and slap is you've got to understand if the pitch is going to be in the zone. Because there's been several she's pushed at that are well and truly... That one's balls. low on the outside. Runner advances runner to advances. third. Good stuff. Now a runner at three for Canberra. They just need contact. There's a third strike, and Ferns watches that one all the way to the catcher's glove, unfortunately. And that's the second out with a runner on three. Number 98, Bronte Norton. But it's Norton up the bat who hit the big triple last time over the top of left field. Her first and pitch. Let's that one yeah. go. She had a little look. She did. I'll tell you what, if she can just get contact here, put it somewhere a lot of through that infield, a lot of space they will score their run. Let's see what Norton, Norton can do. That one's wide. So one and one the count here for Bronte Norton. Got it done last innings in the pitching circle. Now let's see what she can do in the batter's box. That's Again, a good beautiful hit. safe hit. Yep, that's scoring the run. Norton will get a double. So great batting from Bronte Norton. Three base hit on the first at bat. And that time she punches it into left center. And scores the first run for the ACT Pride. Well done for Bronte. That is exceptional work.
You better number 34, Ava Medlicott. Yeah, Medlicott last time. She was very keen to try and punch one out there. And she got an opportunity again. That one definitely on the inside. So runner on two here for the ACT. Two out as young Medlicott takes a ball. Wooden. Still pitching beautifully, moving that ball around the strike zone. Low on the inside. Runner goes to three. Oh, great slide. That was great work there by Norton. Took off. The, the throw was in time, but the slide, she went straight underneath. The throw, unfortunately, was slightly outside the baseline. So the yeah. fielder had to come around to get the tag. But as you said, shout out to Norton for that slide. It was uh, right on the money. And Norton's taking a big lead there. So she's going to put pressure on, making sure that Wooden gets the ball in the zone. Because any pass ball, she will score. Two balls, one strike here for Medlicott. They have the two out. She oh, takes a no. late swing at that one. It looked high for mine. It did. It was high. But in saying that, I think it would have been called that, strike. That's that he's, strike zone we've been talking yeah, about. Yeah. He's been consistent. Again, no, that, that was well outside the strike yeah. zone and a swinging K2. And that's the third out for the ACT Here's Pride. The so out. Bronte Norton scores a run, but unfortunately gets stranded on third base. Second time she's been stand stranded on third base, but the good news for her this time was she had a runner on base and was able to score her home. So great work well from done the, the ACT. Pride. And it's now... 7-1 with New South Wales stepping up here in the bottom of the third. But yeah, a good good bat there for the, the, the Pride team. Yeah. They all true. showed more intent. They certainly did. They uh, they were swinging. There's no doubt about that. So it's just now about, Getting you know, bat on ball. just picking that right one to swing at because a couple of those were well above their head and actually no need to to swing. But, you know... The intent stepped up a whole level there, and they went hard at it, which was good on them. And I'll tell you what, um, Norton in the uh, circle, pitching, gee, she's a good batter. Wow. Outstanding. And you certainly can't get much better than uh, a three base and a stand-up double from your two at-bats. Yes, it normally takes me a season to get those two. <laughs> Not one game. <laughs> And then score an RBI. That's <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? It could be every couple of years. So now the Steelers. See if they can add to their tally. We should see young Claire Hangen if they haven't made any changes. And that's who it is. Lead-off batter for the New South Wales Steelers, number seven, Claire Hangen. Oh, a little Just a time call. Yeah, the uh, warm-up ball in the outfield there. Needs to go back to the dugout. Very dainty from Caitlin Ferns. Here, went to pick it up. A bit dirty. Oh. <laughs> Don't like that. <laughs> Didn't like the, the feel of the dirt on the fingers. That one just Foul took ball. the top of the helmet. Yeah, it did clip the just the brim of the top. So, walk there. Rory Taylor will go down and just check on her and check the helmet. You batter for the seal is number 12, Renee Torres. Yeah, Torres up now. Dad's down there again videoing. Oh, Pops Torres. that one up for Caitlin Ferns to get underneath it. Nice anticipation by the first base, Caitlin Ferns. She charged down the line as Torres shaped a bunt. Got the catch and the runner stays on one. Well, I'm... Matty Gauci, number five. Well, I'm happy for Caitlin Ferns there. She has charged down that line all day on every bunt play. And either the batter hasn't got it down, the ball's not been in the zone. 
And this time, it gets in the zone, pops up, and she gets a reward. That's that's what you say. It's effort all the time. That one driven hard through the pivots. Gets away from Predator John at short. Runner rounds two, heads to three. Yeah, nice work. It was a nice piece, that one. There's no doubt about it. Tough for the shortstop and second base to get that yeah, right, right up through the right middle and over the middle. second base. Batting now for the New South Wales Steelers, number 13. Pitcher, Chantel Wooden. Yeah, nice work from Torres. Dad was very excited there in the, <laughs> in the stands. He was videoing and the, the arms were up. And she gets herself a single and moves the runner from one to three. I reckon she'll take off here on the first pitch. She does. And she so does. does the runner of three. The play back at the plate. Not, not in time. And the... Torres, great Torres running. From one to three on the play. That was a heads up play. She went to two and she just took a slight little lead. And as soon as it was fumbling around that home plate, she knew she was going to get safe at three and took the base. So Wooden has a ball against her name here. Now a runner on three with just the one out. Nicely caught. That was a great stop there by uh, Hardage. That one gets away. Comes back hard oh. off the back net, but gets away again from the catcher. Come back quickly, but Torres, as quick, gets safe. Came back as hard as the pitch, actually, and just beat her under the glove. Tough to pick up, that one. But another run scores for... The Steelers, as Wooden faces off again, high ball, lets that one go, and she'll make her way to first with the base on balls. Back to the top of the lineup for the New South Wales Steelers, number two, Mia Kassa. One in the dirt. Uh, you ain't need and Wooden's going to go all the way to yeah, three. She will. Nice work. A good that, play there by the Pride as well to try to get the runner at three. And it was yeah. the throw was on the money, but just in the dirt. If that was on the money, that was a catch tag, I reckon. So nice play all around. Both teams really throwing their hardest. Two runs scored so far. One out here for the Steelers. Another runner on third base in the form of Wooden. There's a slide into home. That slide was from about three metres out. It was a bit of a the, launch. And the, and the foot just slowly made its way <laughs> to the front of the, the base. And gets itself safe. It's just speed does that. But, yeah, there was a bit of a launch, as you said, nice and early. I reckon if I dived three metres early like that, I'd stop, stop. about two metres from the base, <laughs> from the home plate. As we see Kassar make her way to first with another base on balls. Time called by, it looks like he wants to give that. A bit of housekeeping. Yeah. It's starting to get pretty dirty, that home plate. Plenty of people come flying across it. He's done a man's job too of uh, the cleaning of that plate. This yeah, it's still as dirty as it was. <laughs> Number ten at bat for the Steelers, Sierra Ryan. Yeah, Sierra Ryan, I think she's got a couple of base on base balls. on balls. Yeah. yeah, but then was the the first runner out tagged at second on the fielder's choice plate. Look at the runner again. Look at her. Yep, she's gonna take third base. That is exceptional running. So Bronte Norton makes her way back into the circle here, facing off against Sierra Ryan. Another runner on three. They just keep ticking them over as we see a big swing at a high ball there for Ryan. So I think with uh, for Norton and a catcher, Ryan swings at these high balls consistently. So they need to stick with that, that yep. strategy at her because last time they went 
high ball, high ball. She t- they had two strikes on her. And then she and got then went to balls. low balls. Yep. And they put them all over the place and she got a walk. So just stick. Just throw on those balls high. You know the umpire likes it in that there zone. There we go. Popped up. Bit of a fizz up. No oh. play on that one. The way that ball spun around, it was a tough... It's tough. unlucky for Norton there. That ball come off the bat, but with backspin. So when it landed, it come away from her. By the time she had the ball in hand, she looked at the play at home. And unfortunately for her, the runner was already there. Yep. And then she looked at one, but the batter was well on their way. Catch is just getting herself a quick drink here. Yeah, time's called. Looks like we have a replacement player coming into the game. Looks like Ava Kuntz to me coming out to have a bat. Certainly is number eight. So you say Ava, I say Eva. Is that how we go about that? Oh, no. No, you're right. It's Eva. It's Eva Kuntz. Yep. Yes. But it's just that we've got so many Avas in this There game. are quite a few Avas in the game. This is an Eva. Exceptional player, Eva. Really hits the ball hard. So should we look to punch one out there? New entry into the New South Wales Steelers lineup here. Number eight, Eva Kuntz. Eve has played at this level for a couple of seasons now. And she lets that first one go for a strike. But more, I think so, to allow the runner to steal Still second base. Second, which she was able to do. Got the throw over. So still catches having a go for the ACT Pride, looking for the runner at two. So you see Kuntz take one on the inside. Swing and a miss this time for Kuntz. That was a nice pitch from Norton. A lovely pitch. Good swing, but the pitch was too good. One ball, two strikes here for Eva. One out, runner on two for the Steelers. She shortens up on the handle of the bat to try and punch a ball that gets in the zone. Two and two now. Yeah, two, two count. She really has shortened up. Takes a high one, lets it go. It's a full count here. For Kuntz. A chance for Norton. That one gets away from the catcher. Kuntz makes a way to first. So runners on the corners here for the Steelers. Yes, yeah, straight away looked at the coach. And Mon Pettit there definitely just gave the signal that we're only taking this one. Number 11, Sasha Shyam Sundar. So Kunz was looking if she went straight away to oh. two. Oh! That's got her in a hand. Certainly did. She went for the bunt high in the strike zone. She's uh, a few tears there. No doubt they hurt when they cop it on the fingers. It yeah, jams it up against the bat too. Yeah. So it's that... The double compression... Just see how she is here. So how do we see that one, JB? She was hit in the act of, I guess, bunting. On the hand. So is it a... Hit by pitch ball? I don't think it is. No, Rory Taylor yeah. is making the call. No, he said, sorry, unfortunately, it's not a hit by pitch because you are 
in the act of hitting the ball. So do we have we have a replacement there? No, she's out. Or is it a dead ball? And she remains. Well, it looks like. And now they've made a substitution. It looks like Ella Fretton is will come in and hit for her. No, she. That's her. Yeah, so they've switched her back. They've re-entered Ella Fretton. I think she'll has to remain with the same count. Yep. Which is one strike. So Fretton back in. So it is a dead ball. And that hits Ella Fretton straight in the head. So takes one on the helmet. Yeah, back of the helmet. They'll check that for sure. The time called here, the yeah. ACT Pride Catch. Just coming out to have a chat with Norton. Yeah, yeah. You can see a few tears from Norton. Yeah, but she's done a great job. I mean, that's something that they're just tough lines for a pitcher. Yeah. There was no, absolutely no intent there. Every one of those... No, the pitchers weren't that bad. I mean, Ella, the, the, the young girl shaped around for a bunt, got her on her fingers. Like, that's just that's not the pitcher's fault. Um, and then secondly, that one from um, Ella, the way she ducked forward and down... It just clipped the back of her helmet. So, you know, they're both inside pitches. May have been a little bit too inside. But, you know, Ella, Ella's laughing and joking around there. So it's it's really not Hasn't affected Ella damage, at all. No. Just skimmed off the back of the helmet. So it looks and... like Norton's going to stay in the game here. And that's exactly what we want to see. The team need to get a rounder. Some words of encouragement from the coach. Let's hope it's done the trick. She still doesn't look... She looks quite upset out there, but you know what? Credit to her. She wants to battle on. And it'll bring up uh, young Katie Newman. Another run scores for the Steelers. And that'll be the fifth run. So... Probably is going to help out young Bronte. Coach wants to have a talk, but Bronte just wants to get into the dugout here. So this is a the coach-player relationship that really comes into play. Yeah, well, I'd say Alison's saying there's no need for tears. Yeah. Just saying it's not your fault. Yeah. It's just, you know, breathe, stay calm. Relax. You're not in trouble. There's no no yeah. harm done. Everything's okay. Just just you know, pull yourself back together and trust yourself. Believe in you like we believe in you. That's yeah. the whole thing. They've she's the right girl for the job. We've got a couple of changes coming into effect here too. We've got a new pitcher coming out. The number three Miller um, Miller Catterick. Catterick, what are you, what can you tell us about her? I've not seen her. Not seen her pitch, so it's be a surprise to both of us, I'd say. We're both flying blind. We're the pilots you don't <laughs> want to have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, Fretton's going back out there to left field. Ava Kuntz looks like she's going to center field. Uh, Speaking yeah. of pilots, shout out to Dusty Baker. The resident uh, pilot involved in our softball family. Where, where is he at the moment? Oh, somewhere in this beautiful world. Somewhere in the Pacific just flying <laughs> about. <laughs> so it looks like young Newman. No, she's making... I thought for a second she'd stopped the infield, infield having a good nice. old chat there, and I thought she may have had an infield position. And No, she's still at right field. 
Caderick now just going through a warm up routine. We'll try and if someone can give us some feedback on young Caderick, let her know, let us know where what uh, what association she's from and a little bit of background would be lovely. She's just going through a nice warm up there and doing a great job. So we'll see what the bats of the ACT Pride can do here. Currently trailing 12 runs to one as we make our way into the top of the fourth. Lead off batter for the ACT Pride. Number 22, Ava Pretty John. Some good energy coming out of the Pride dugout, which is great. Pretty John takes a strike. A nice opening pitch from Catterick. That one low on the outside. So yeah, they may be trailing, but that energy coming out of the dugout for the ACT team. JB, it's exactly what we want to see and hear here at BJIC. It's all about fun yep. and just getting involved. Good swing. It was a nice swing from Predator John. Fortunately, not able to make contact. So one ball, two strikes here for our leadoff batter. Catcher just holding it there, looking for the call from the umpire. Doesn't go her way. So Predator John with a two and two count. Yeah, I like the fact that she's swinging though. That That's one, one was on the a bit outside wide. again for a full count here. I'm okay with that. Not swinging. She definitely saw that wide. She checked with the umpire for the count too, so that's great. That one high, and Pretty John makes her way to first base. That is great work. You better for the ACT, number 18, Danica Harch. Swings and misses that one. No foul ball. So the base runner has to go back. She was off. Back to first she goes. Danica steps up to the plate once again. One strike here on Danica. Swings at a high ball. Pops it back into the net for a foul. Again, swinging the bat, getting contact. Keep it going here. That one low. Swing and a miss Swing from and miss. Danica Hutch, and she'll go back to the dugout with the K2 for Mila Catterick. Number 11, Sophie Mitchell. Mitchell steps up, high ball, gets away from the catcher. Pretty John makes a way to second. Nice work. A runner in scoring position here with one out. They really do deserve some more runs on the board here, the Pride. They've played well. They certainly have. Ooh, that one. Foul Good ball. Swing. One low in the dirt. Gets away. Predator John makes her way to third base. Good 
Good opportunity here for another run for the ACT Pride with Pretty John on third. And only one out. She can get, she, if she can hit a ball to the right side of this diamond, she'll score Swings the run. Swings at a high pitch. Two and two, the count here on young Sophie Mitchell. That's a nice swing. And another one for a swing and a miss, and that's the second out for the Pride. Unfortunate there, because again, swinging, which is what we want. I don't mind swinging and getting out. What's happening here is this could be time, I'd say. It is, it's 9.17. So we're strict to 75 minute games. And it's a timing game call, and that will be the Steelers. Taking this one out, 12 runs to one over the ACT Pride. Yeah, pretty impressed the way the Pride have developed over this weekend. They are they're doing doing well. And as you said, with the age age group as well, they are the younger yeah. part of the tournament, and um, lots to you know lots to be really happy about there with their development. As you said, and they'll get another opportunity next year, most of them. And a yeah. big shout out to. Bronte Norton with her batting and also the pitching. Yeah, well done, Bronte. I mean, a tough end of the innings there, but her batting was absolutely exceptional with a triple and a double um, and get an, an, getting the RBI. So well done to the Steelers board. taking that one out, JB, and we'll be back with some more action at 9.45 where yep. the New South Wales Strikers take on the Japan Princess. So come back and join us, and we'll be back at 9.45.